Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Babe is awake, but um, she's just kind of sitting up chilling at the moment. But I will go into her in a sec. Welcome to this week's vlog. I was going to say on a rainy Sunday, but it actually seems quite bright outside. Should we look at the weather? Today, 80% chance of rain. We haven't got any like plans, plans to go out or anything. Got a bit of a long to do list though. You can come and do that with me, you know. Quarter past seven. Probably girl's running a bit like clockwork at the moment. She always wakes up around this time. Although we don't know when she actually wakes up, this is the sort of time that she makes noise. But she could have been up since five and just been sitting there silent. I don't know. And the last like couple of weeks, she's been waking up at three o'clock for a feed. Like pretty much dead on three, weirdly. But she goes back down like a dream, so... Mama can't complain. Did go to bed at like midnight last night though, which I do regret now. Instant regret. Are you awake to eyes? Hiya puppy! Hi darling! Good morning! Do you want to go see mama? I do my little stinky bum. Oh baby, good morning. Sleepy. <laughs> you show me a sticky bum? Mm. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Give me my kid. You scrubby girl. Nobody do that. Nobody ain't. My, my, what a wonderful day. Does Goldie want milkies? <coughs> Good morning everybody, a proper good morning. I'm now sitting on um, the sofa, I'm waiting for my cup of tea to cool down. Baby's playing at a little activity table. Sorry if you can hear Bluey in the background. I won't lie, I always put TV on in the morning guys. You know when you just need to make a cup of tea and just, just kind of wake up and function a little bit. Um, but she's not like at an age yet where she's like glued to the screen. She gets excited when it's first on and she looks for it, looks at it for a bit. And she just plays with all her toys anyway, so it's just a nice bit of like background noise. When like songs come on, if it's like Miss Rachel or whatever, she then starts dancing and I'm just like, I love that for us. So screen time happens in the morning, okay? Um, and throughout the day sometimes as well. She's so desperate to just be on her feet all the time. You're having a nice time. Two Eyes is still upstairs actually. More often than not, he's up before me. Um, normally. He obviously needs a little extra snoozy snooze this morning, which is absolutely fine. I actually feel okay today, which is great. I felt grim, and I mean grim the last few days, but two nights ago, guys, TMI, but you know I'm an oversharer. 
my first period arrived and I am so glad about it. I haven't had a period since November 2022, like fell pregnant in December and obviously I haven't had one since. Um, so one, it answers why I've been feeling so grim and getting lots of headaches. Two, it answers my crazy skin, which I'll talk about in a minute. Three, I've just been like waiting for it. You know, when you're just like, when's it gonna happen? When's it gonna come? So now that it's here, I'm gonna start tracking it again. It might not be regular, obviously, but you know, I can start tracking it. Um, and it's just nice to know that like my body's working, which is great. I love that. I love that for me. Although it is kicking my absolute ass because it is not pleasant in the slightest. Historically, I'm very lucky with periods like light to light to medium I'd say you know cramps for one day I get like one bad day and then I'm okay um we're now on like day three and it is full on but it is the first one back which everyone says is absolutely nasty and that I can agree on but it is what it is and I'm glad that it's come and whatever whatever also for the first time ever and it was the perfect timing because they literally arrived last week Wooka from Wooka wear sent me some period pants to try um i've only got two pairs so i've got like a 12 hour pair which is the heavy and then i've got a 24 hour which is super heavy um so i'm going to use them as much as possible obviously wash them and then if they haven't dried in time because you can't put them in a tumble dryer if you if they haven't dried in time then i'll i'll use i've got some organic um sanitary towels but i'm hoping that i can kind of wash them quick enough um they are the comfiest things on the planet I'm very much enjoying the comforts. I wore them all day yesterday, all through the night, zero leakage. And like I said, things are full on. Things are full on people. So, so far I cannot find downside, not just saying that. Um, the only downside is that I want more pants. Oh, guys, we have a climber. Someone climbs up on the sofa now. Don't fall back, please. Hi, baby. Oh, that's so nice. Goldie, give mummy a kiss. Give mummy a kiss. Mm, kind of. No, she just won't do it on camera. It's actually no. She's like, bitch, no, that's the in secret, yeah. She likes to lean over the edge as well, obviously. So that's really fun. I don't want to be that parent that's like, be careful, be careful all the time i'm just like chill so i'm just like obviously cautious but um <coughs> try not to make like a big deal of things she is learning how to get down as well she like turns around turn around then oh you're just chilling are you chilling yeah roll that's it and then push yourself down go 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 apologies for my mum voice there but i cannot you know when they do something new? Oh, so she rolled over, pulled herself down, and then beamed and gave herself a massive clap because she knew it was clever. I can't, what am I gonna do when she starts like actually walking and saying first words and shit? And then like, I don't know, writing her own name. Ah, oh, I'm a goner. Anyway, back to Wooka wear. So far, so bloody amazing. Well chuffed, just want some more pants. Also, a little update on the skin, which I know I do basically every single vlog now, but uh, you're on the journey with me, guys. Obviously, like I said, now I'm my periods are back. My periods are back, babe. I'm praying that things, hormones start to regulate themselves and things start to chill the F out. Um, but in the meantime, I've been using a new skincare, um, all natural. Like, it's a small business, but it is incredible. Like, I genuinely have this feeling like this brand is going to explode i mean don't get me wrong they're like a decent sized brand already but wow i feel like everyone needs this in their life the only products i'm using from them at the moment are the moisturizer and i'm using the naked one which is fragrance free um and then the intense recovery cream oh my gosh that is insane so i literally am like dabbing it on at night and i've had a few spots which are literally like the size of my head and they're really drying my spots out which is what i want <laughs> things are really calming down and then the moisturizer keeps everything really hydrated so but i'm loving that as well it's been a, it's been like a week and i feel like there's so much to catch up with you on <gasps> guess what i did yesterday i had my hair and makeup trial for my wedding like i know i look like this now 
but you should have seen me yesterday. Honestly, I was a Disney princess. I was. Like, my makeup artist, Emily Bliss Bridal, I'm using, she is incredible, and she understood the assignment. Wow. Obviously, I can't show you any pictures or anything, because I need to leave it such a surprise that you're like, <gasps> gobsmacked at the time. <laughs> I need to calm down with that now because let's lower some expectations. But still, I was very pleased. We made some tweaks. The only thing that I didn't like, and it was completely my fault with my eyebrows, because the night before, I haven't dyed them, I haven't tinted them in ages, and they were like really, really blonde, non-existent blonde. And I was like, mm -mm, I hate that because it just basically, there's no frame to my face. So I dyed them, but I dyed them too dark. And then when she did the makeup, all I could see was my eyebrows. So I'm going to obviously get them pro fresh, professionally done. I'm going to get a brow lamination, but I'm going to go like dark blonde, not dark brown. Um, and then I've had this weird epiphany. Like I've tinted my eyebrows for like the last 15 to 20 years probably. And I'm like, have they always been that dark? Am I only just realizing now that I should have gone lighter? But I go the same color as what I do my eyelashes because I'm lazy and don't want to get two different colours. Terrible. Terrible. Anyway, that's a weird epiphany that I've had. But overall, the hair and makeup was uh, fantastic. And although I was relatively chill about it anyway, I'm even more chill now. And she covered up my spots like a dream. So if I do get the odd little Susan Boyle on the day, I'm not going to freak out about it. I'm not nervous about that now. That's what I've been nervous about for my entire life, basically. But she did a really great job. Uh, covering up those bitches so yeah it's literally all systems go now wedding planning great to do list today i've got washing to do i've got to clean the bathrooms we've got a food shop coming between four and five so i can show you what i've got if you want i literally could just watch her play all day it's just the cutest she's really good at like playing on her own i don't know if that's because i'm a terrible mum and i like leave her to it but i think that's important i think if like I love, I do play with her and I do like read books and stuff with her, obviously. But there's been quite a few occasions where I've had to like do some work when she's next to me playing. But I just think it's so good when they can independently play. It's good for them to get like bored as well, you know. Look at her. I actually cannot deal. It hurts, doesn't it, how much you love your children? It hurts so much. Right guys, it's breakfast time. I'm actually gonna do pancakes this morning, which I absolutely do not do every day. Um, every single morning, basically, pretty much, Goldie has yogurt and banana, which she is obsessed with, and I mean obsessed, right? Um, However, we're out. Um, we've got the food shop coming today, but I literally said to Ian in bed last night, you're gonna have to go and get bananas in the morning before breakfast, but because he's not up, that hasn't happened. Anyway, so I'm gonna distract her. Hopefully she's like, oh, this is nice because it's different. And she enjoys pancakes, so yeah. But normally I give her like part banana now to shut her up and I haven't got that. Let me try and find something. Grapes for breakfast. Why is that odd? Like, I would never think of having grapes at breakfast time, but it's just another fruit. Weird. You're gonna have grapeies while mummy makes pancakes. Yeah, you're not me. Also, normally when I make pancakes, I blend banana in or I mash banana to start with. So I'm just gonna do normal pancakes, flour, egg, and milk. And then put a bit of honey and some more grapes. Actually, I have got some yogurt, so yogurt, peanut butter on pancakes. She's gonna lose her shit, this is excellent. Fully grown adult and I still cannot crack eggs properly. I thought about it, but to be fair. Normally, the first one to get up. Hello, my baby. Hi. Hi, what are you making? Pancakes, because there's no bananas and you were meant to go to the shop. Hi, YouTube. Excuse me. 
she went to the shop yesterday but forgot. I did. Hello, my beautiful baba. Thank you for feeding me. I did. Two eggs, 100 ml of milk, and 100 mm. grams of flour. Yeah. And it's a good consistency. Mm. Can you give that a little whisk for me? It's not a stir, it's like a... That's a stir. You need to hold the spoon, the fork, sorry, like that. That's it, and then go like a little power whisk. Wow, no, it's definitely a mum flex and not a dad flex. I've got a headache, you can look. Okay, you got a headache, baby, on your period. <laughs> Smooth as a baby's ass. Should have stayed in bed. <laughs> Loving the pans still, by the way. The our place, our place pans. Let's move you a little. And what do we do, team? We put shit loads of butter. So pathetic, this, isn't it? I think it's cute. It's a little one man cafetiere. It's not a one man cafetiere. Well, it is because it's one cup. I'm you serving. Always, you always have to, oh, to be fair, Charles. You fair? You, um, you filled that one up. Yeah. I'm really excited about these pancakes now. Do you know what? It's really big ones, sod it. Oh, yeah. Where's your gravy? So, if you want small, thicker pancakes, put more flour in. I don't know. One egg instead of two? I don't know. <laughs> Everything in my life, my friends, is wing it. Wing it, baby, wing it. What a load of crap. Looks like an <laughs> egg. Oh, you know what I've got as well? Calm down. Lemon. I love lemon on my pancakes. When I was a kid, I just had shitloads of sugar, well, and lemon. Mm. Should we put loads of lemon on Goldies? Your skin looks better. Doesn't it? Obviously they're not going to disappear overnight. These these painful ones are like, oh, like boiled. The they are. But they've dried the hell up. Like I yeah. can see the dryness around them, which is what I want, because then I can rehydrate. I'm well impressed. I ain't just saying it. Go to clap. Yeah, girls. It's good, good. it's just a bit thick. Here is Goldie Girls breakfast. Make sure that it's not too hot. Put a bit of honey and lemon on it. That's healthier. What I'd love is maple syrup, but I don't have that. Oh, that's good. Do you want one, babe? Here are my pancake creations, guys. I mean, this one's half eaten, as you can see, but... Do you know what? That is all that's left. You've done very well, Goldie Girl. Did you like Mama's pancakes? Mission tidy up breakfast. And then I'm gonna get on with some jobs. I'm gonna go and strip the bed upstairs and just do a bit like that. So I'll just take you on a little bit of a time lapse, but let's get going. Go team, go! I am not saying go team, go. Absolutely not. I'm fresh and felt clean, clean. Um, I freshened up. I haven't had a shower because I'm gonna have a bath later. I don't like having a shower when then I'm just gonna clean the house and just get mucky. So I just put some fresh clothes on and wash my face just to feel a bit cleaner. Um, this is the magical skincare that I'm loving. The brand is called OBS, O B V S, um, and I've got the organic moisturizer, like I said, and the intense. Intensive Skin Recovery Cream, it's called. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, because it's fragrance free, there is literally nothing in there that is fragrancing it. It's not like, oh my God, that smells amazing. It's really not, I'm not gonna lie to you. But the texture, it's like buttercream, literally. But it just takes a bit of getting used to it if you're not used to it. I think we can get so sucked in with skin products on the scent of it. And don't get me wrong, you can, scent things with pure essential oils which are natural and that's fine but they some essential oils can irritate skin so when we're talking about like acne eczema dermatitis psoriasis all sorts of skin problems why irritate it you know so let's go fragrance free just whilst we're sorting out our shit she did send me actually a free sample of the same moisturizer but with lavender so that has got the um essential oil in it and it does smell amazing.
but we're not gonna use that now, okay? okay. So at night time, I literally cake myself in this pretty much and I don't like even rub it in, I just let it sit. But obviously then I've got like white spots all over my face. So today, so in the morning, I do put a little bit on the big boys, but I rub it in more. I ordered the next shade down in the um, foundation that I bought recently because the three was a little bit warm for me and I'm thinking, well, we're just going into winter so I'm only gonna get pastier. So I gave mum my shade three because she's warmer than I am. And I've ordered shade two, but I ordered like a little set with the beauty booster, a concealer and a brush as well. And I haven't tried it yet and I'm so desperate to try it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on, okay? I know it's a complete waste, but I'm just excited. That is way better colour match for me. Um, I mean, I didn't put loads on, so I haven't gone like full, full coverage, but just wanted to just wanted to try it basically. And um, yeah, there's differently the shades for me. So now I've got a bit of makeup on to clean the house. Stunning. Right, I am boiling the kettle, partly to make Ian another drink, but also to make some more pure magic. Um, there's that half left in there, but I'm gonna make up another one because it takes a while to cool down. Basically, this is the best thing ever. I've got the Nancy Burt Whistle Green Living Made Easy book. I think she's got another book that I'd actually prefer. This is like a little bit of everything. And by everything, I mean like cleaning, baking, all sorts, gardening even, um, which is lovely. It's a little bit of everything, but she has got some other books which are like solely on cleaning. Anyway, in here is a recipe called Pure Magic, and it literally does what it says on the tin. It's the only thing I use now when I clean our bathroom, um, like shower screen, lime scale, scum, like all the nasty build up in the shower, the plug hole. But also, and I didn't realize this, it does the toilet bowl as well. Um, I stopped using bleach a little while ago, but I just hadn't got a clean version to replace it. So I'm not gonna lie to you, the bowl, the toilet bowls in our house are starting to get a little stained and discolored, which makes me look like I hate it. I hate dirty bathrooms. So I'm gonna use this today. So I'm gonna make another one because I know I'm gonna get through quite a lot. I wouldn't recommend using it on like your sink um, and stuff like that because it's got citric acid in it. It, what it kind of, unless you really heavily rinse it, it crystallizes a little bit and leaves a bit of a sticky, residue so don't do it on that just do it like in the toilet bowl and um, I scrub my shower screen and then I squeegee it and it's just the best thing it literally comes off like stainless steel like shiny plugs and stuff amazing but then you just have to rinse it We're and then cleaning bathrooms which you need to learn about but for like sinks toilets like cleaning the toilet and stuff I use just an all-purpose spray which again is um Nancy I think it's Nancy. Nancy. Which is what I use for all our work surfaces and stuff as well. Anyway, so I'm gonna make up some more pure magic um, from the ingredients in my witchy bitchy cupboard. I can tidy up. Oh, he's, you're really tidy. You're tidier than me. Oh my God, I know I am. But you're not cleaner than me. I am. You're not? I am. You've never once cleaned a bathroom. You've never once cleaned the kitchen. Are you joking? I clean it three times a day. No, you don't, because every time I come home from oh, you're, work... No, I can't, you're <laughs> pissing me off. No, I shouldn't let him piss me off, should I? So, good old, big old bag of white powder, it doesn't look dodgy at all, does it? It's citric acid, guys, okay? It's citric acid, I promise. So, we've gone for 150 ml of boiling water and 200 grams of citric acid. Once it runs clear, then I'm just gonna add in just literally a couple of squirts of eco washing up liquid. I'm using minimal at the moment. So just add in a bit of that. And then you're just gonna leave this out on the side to cool before putting it into a spray bottle. Um, I will get on with some cleaning, but I've got my pre-made batch anyway. I don't know if you can see how grim that is, but it is chucking it down. Proper, proper rainy Sunday now. It's Goldie Girl's nap time. And for her nap now, she just has warm cow's milk. So I don't know why I keep it in the baby bowl still. It's because she really, she hasn't had bottles much since birth. So I should probably give her a bigger bottle. Is it Milky's time? <coughs> yeah. Oh God, 
guys, I'm on one. Um, this always happens to me. As soon as I kind of like start something, especially like with the witchy bitchy stuff, I just literally cannot stop. So I've gone round and I've soaked all the toilet bowls in pure magic. So I'm just letting them sit for a little while. Although Ian is now destroying the downstairs toilet. So I'm gonna have to go and redo that one later, but whatever. And also Babe's gone down for a nap. So I feel like I've now got like an hour and a half. Although Ian's been amazing and been like with her all morning, obviously while I've been doing this. Um, and he's happy to do that when I'm in my zone. So, but I feel like I've got this like hour and a half now where I'm just gonna smash out as much as I can. I've got all of my bottles. I've literally got, there's more as well, um, that I want to refill. I wanna refill the hand soaps. I was making my own hand soap and although it was great, you had to shake the bottle every time and the oil in it was obviously sinking to the bottom. So when you get to the end of the hand soap, it's very oily, so then you're just rubbing your hands in oil, and I don't like it. And then when like guests come over, they don't know to shake the bottle, and it's just a bit like meh. I've got some new hand soap um, from Kit and Kin. They sent me, you can see it actually, they sent me a little PR box, which is incredible. Haven't even opened it yet because I need to film the content. I also need to film the content today, so I might put you on a time lapse whilst I'm filming on my phone <laughs> for Kit and Kin. And then whilst I'm filming the content, I will actually refill my actual hand soaps, which I want to do. So I've done my pure magic. You know, I was talking about the all purpose spray. I have found the Nancy Burt Whistle one, which is vinegar. Sorry about my washing machine. It's all happening. Vinegar, which is this bottle anyway. It's just literally white vinegar spray, nothing else in it. Rubbing alcohol, which I have, funnily enough. Um, and essential oil, just to make it smell nice. So that's going to be like, worktops, kitchens, bathrooms, and it, it won't leave a sticky residue. So I'm gonna make up a big one for bathrooms and I can, that will last me ages, and I'm gonna top up my little kitchen one as well for worktops. So I'm gonna do that. I've also found an empty spray bottle and I'm gonna make, I found another recipe, again Nancy Burtis whistle, um, like a wood polish cleaner, you know, like when you go with dusting. So I'm gonna make a little version of that just to make sure I like it. That's what's gonna go down, okay? I'm gonna just make all the stuff, probably on a time lapse because I feel like this vlog is about two hours already. How much of the kitten kin stuff you saw then but i just was filming my real content for that i think the kit the kitten kin stuff so they sent me like the bottle so this is like the hand wash for example and then a refill bag which is a liter um which is obviously better value and then you just top up your bottle every time which is obviously better for the environment too so i've got hand wash washing up liquid fabric conditioner fabric soft um washing like laundry detergent and like an all-purpose spray actually, which I know I've just made, but it's fine, it's good. Not everyone can be asked to make their own all-purpose cleaner. I like just experimenting and getting a bit sciencey on a Sunday, you know, because it's a completely clean, non-toxic company as well. So when you make your own stuff, yes, it's cheaper. So it's whether you want the convenience or not. I'm a bit of both, you know what I mean? First washing load is done. So I'm gonna whack that in the tumble dryer and put a new load on, and I'm actually gonna try my kit and kin stuff. Let's go. Problem with me is when I get stuck into something, I forget to eat. Quarter to one, and I haven't had anything since the pancakes. My mum made some scones yesterday. So a scone with some butter is gonna go down. A treat, my friends. A treat. Ian's at the gym. Goldie is still asleep. The neighbour opposite has had a parcel delivered and they've just left it outside their front door. To be fair, it's not getting wet because it's under their like porch bit, but it's a Reese parcel. Very bougie in our street. Ian loves Reese, but it's definitely like a Christmas or birthday situation. I'm feeling good, guys. This is meant to be like a super chill, Sunday, come chill with us. 
and you've just come on this cleaning spree with me. But honestly, I feel more productive because I'm taking you with me. So I want to thank you. Thank you. I'm like rushing my scrum to clean my kettle. What's happening? Uh, guys, I can't. I'm really pleased with my kettle. It is absolutely sparkling. I'm so chuffed. That's literally just, I boiled the kettle so it was boiling. And then I just put a couple of tablespoons of citric acid and just sat it in there for an hour. And I did spray the top with pure magic to like soak that in the top, like the lid bit, because that was quite scaly as well. That's brand new. So I'm just going to boil the kettle now and rinse it out just to make sure it's all gone and then do it again and make myself a nice clapper. Yeah, uh, skipped ahead without you because my camera battery died. So I had to plug you in uh, for a few mins. But what I did during that time, um, I came back into the bedroom. I like dusted everywhere with my new polish, um, did the blinds up here, dressing table, things like that. I cleaned my bed as well. I use this little dust catcher thing to get, to like scrape all the dust off and it's so satisfying. So pleased about that. Then I've done the ensuite and I thought I'll do that off camera because I have to do it in my pants because I full on get into the shower in my pants. Do you know what I mean? And I get in every nook and cranny. The ensuite is now sparkling. Sparkling, I tell you. Which is a very good job done. I just need to do the floors. I need to go and get the mop in a minute. Ian's back from the gym. Baby girl woke up. Perfect timing, she had a really long nap. So they're doing lunch downstairs and I'm gonna go join them. I'm gonna go have some food. about to do something I have been wanting to do for a very long time and I keep 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 putting it off I really need to clean my my dress that I wore from Hendu it's pretty ruined to be fair as in not ruined but I can't wear it in the state that it's in um again I don't know where I'm gonna wear it again but I want to be able to or sell it or whatever it says do not soak do not rub do not um tumble dry do not um, dry clean, do not put in the washing machine. It says do nothing, so I'm like, well, I don't know how to clean it. Clearly, I'm gonna put it in the washing machine on its own. I'm gonna spray the stained areas beforehand and I'm gonna put it like on a 30 and I'm gonna put it on a delicate, really light spin, like a hand wash setting. This is my like toxic stain remover, to be honest with you. But when this runs out, I won't buy a new one. That's my rule. I'll just use Kit and Kin again with fragrance free laundry liquid. It's on delicates, so keep your fingers crossed. Had my cheese on toast earlier. Could have been a bit more nutritious. It could have been a little bit more to it. It was literally just cheese on sourdough, but that's fine. You know, it just kept me going for a little bit. The bedding that I washed this morning is dry. I literally put the same set back on all the time because I just really like the set. So I just clean and dry it in one day. So I'm gonna put that back on. Bedroom is then done. I'm gonna clean Goldie's room, just like blinds, windowsill, and her changing area, I just wanna anti back. I need to clean this mirror, cause it is dirty. And I'm gonna clean this bathroom. Halfway through my mopping, my Tesco delivery arrived. And I know you lot are dying to see our food shop. <laughs> and that is it, <laughs> 65 pounds. There's nothing there, is the Goldie baby? Absolutely nothing insane. There. I'm gonna do this mega quick because you're interested, but you're not that interested, do you know what I mean? Grapes, Goldie is obsessed. We've got three lots, no, we've got four lots. Oh my God, we've got four lots of 20% um, beef mince we'd love to go organic we will in time but right now that's the best we can do um crosta and malika the sourdough base is amazing the ingredients are so minimal and then you put what you want on top of the pizza and i generally have like half so that's like two like dinners for me um banging and i also love the crosta and malika um, you say costa crosta i always say costa yeah, I know you do. Cross through Maliki, you made me question myself then. Um, the little midi flatbreads, which again, minimal ingredients, they're super clean and Goldie 
has them quite a lot. A shit ton of bananas, kiwi. Guys, do you remember when Goldie was allergic to kiwi? Well, we are gonna try them again and see if she comes up in a rash. It didn't affect her in any way other than a rash, so we're gonna try it again. Um, just some white potatoes. Again, Crosser and Malika were obsessed. The poppy seed um, breadsticks. I love just giving those to Goldie just to keep her occupied whilst I'm cooking. That, that's what that is for, amazing. Um, Ian has these Arla yogurts, they're for E. There's another one somewhere there um organic whole milk which we have like i have in shakes we have in teas etc etc um our goldie obviously has that as well tesco finest um bacon if you don't mind cucumber which goldie still doesn't like but we're trying the one pouch <laughs> basically i buy one or two pouches every week just as like backup there's very few of them that don't have any seed oils in it but this actually is one of them interestingly a couple of the piccolo ones don't have seed oils in either, but some of them do. So I literally just check the ingredients every time. Halloumi, halloumi. Jason sourdough, the only bread that we get. I just got some sweet corn, um, chopped tomatoes and some kidney beans as well. I'm gonna do a chili tonight. Natural yogurt for Goldie Girls breakfast, a cheeky avocado, unsalted butter, block of, a big thing of peanut butter. Obviously we don't get that every week. <laughs> but just when we run out. 24 eggs, but we do get through those as well. Tesco finest little chipolatas. These aren't perfect, but they're the best that I can find. They're like at least 90% pork, I think. Yeah, they're 90% pork, but they've still got other ingredients in, but beggars can't be choosers. And then big old thing of strawberries. And then my two treats for the week. Oh, you guys know I'm obsessed with revels. Like I said, I'm not perfect guys. And some Jaffa cakes this week. I'm an 80-20 girl, but out of all of this, I feel like that's more 90-10, if I'm honest. So yeah, that's that's my little cheeky treats as well. Yeah, that is what 65 quid gets you, my friends. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. I did forget to add to my haul loo roll. I got a big, is it 24? 24 rolls of loo roll, loo roll which I desperately need. I am desperate to upgrade my loo roll situation. I want to get some of the unbleached toilet roll because unfortunately as, as everything is toilet roll is really like quite toxic actually um but at the moment yeah that's what we're rocking with um so that was included in the 65 pound obviously we buy we don't buy the same thing every week so like i've got loads of like nuts pasta rice i've got all those kind of things like condiments and then when something runs out like toilet roll or like the peanut butter obviously i just yeah so it's kind of a bit of a mix, but we're on like a really strict budget every single week um, in the lead up to the wedding. So I really try and like, I do my food shop online so that I don't forget anything, but equally only get what I really need and don't get tempted by things that I don't need. So it works quite well to be fair. Oh, blinded by the light. Yeah, it's glorious. I actually really wish I was going out for a walk. However, I'm so nearly finished with the cleaning and bits and bobs so I just want to finish off upstairs um, I just need to make the bed and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to make a chilli tonight because it's so easy just shove it all in the pot and just let it cook for the next like hour or two we can then just help ourselves whenever we want it um, and I'm going to do Goldie a little side serving as well before I put the chilli powder in that's what I do give it to her with paprika and cumin in but I don't put the chilli powder in until I've taken her bit out. Woo! That is such a good feeling that the cleaning is done. E and Gigi have just got back from their walk. How was it guys? I've literally abandoned you today. All weekend. All weekend, because yesterday literally. I had my makeup shower. Walk was belting, Goldie was riding her trike for the first time ever. Two hands on it. Two hands? Oh, do kissy. you miss mummy? Give mummy a kiss. I'm going to make you a lovely chilli now. Belting. And Goldie. Belting. Mm. And your house is spot. Mm. Oh, this is nice! <laughs> <laughs> Where's mummy's kiss? <laughs> nice kisses. Bless her. Right, are you ready? 
for chilly night, baby. We've got the mince, obviously. I've not used frozen garlic before. I'm gonna give it a go with an onion that's on the turn, lol. We've got red pepper, tomatoes I just need to get rid of as well. So red kidney beans, chopped tomatoes, obviously salt and pepper, chili powder, paprika, cumin, um, tomato puree, and two no. beef stock cubes. I'm just gonna whack it all in the pan and just let it simmer, simmer. Brand new, brand new. Two eyes doing his bit. Well done, my baby. I'm hoovered. You've just hoovered the whole house. Exactly. This is why we work so well no, together. No, we are such a good team. You don't have to ask. No. Just do it. Your bath is running, my queen. but they're clean on I'm feeling fresh and yes I'm sorry to any mums who are hating me right now because of how easy Gigi went down she is really good at going to sleep like when she's tired bless her she just goes straight to sleep and I never even since since birth I never like fed her to sleep and put her down type thing like I fed her sleepy put her down and just always walked out the room so she learned to self-settle quite early on. Obviously, I might just be lucky that she enjoys that as well. I don't know, because I've only had one baby, but um, I'll definitely be doing that with future babes as well, because it does make life easier. She does still wake in the night for feed, but I'd rather it that way round and her go down like a little dream, bless her, makes such a difference. 
Right, I'm going to put my moisturiser on now. I've obviously cleansed. I'm going to put my moisturiser on now and then I'm going to put the spot cream on before I go to bed. Literally dreaming of this chilli. And I've got the rice on as well. That rice. Time to stuff my face and sit on my arse. I am so pleased with earlier me for making this. Thank you very much. I feel like in a minute, once I've stuffed my face, I'm literally going to what pass out. You're not passing out because we have the perfect couple to watch. Oh yeah. So we started watching The Perfect Couple last night, which is on Netflix. Yeah. It's... It's only six episodes, isn't it? Yeah. And we watched four last night. So we've got the final two tonight. Seen. I mean, it's not the best thing I've ever seen in my life, but I am... No, it's not the best. It's not like the greatest not, thing no, in the world. No, there's the but few it's bits I'm like... Yeah, no, it is good. It's worth... It's like a nice kind of easy watch, but also, like, I don't know... I can't predict the ending. I deserve my rebels. I'm going to stuff my face in my rebels. <laughs> oh, so good. If I do this on my face... It okay. was supposed to be... A weekend was it, or just a day in the life? It's meant to be like a day in the life, like spend Sunday with us as a family, and basically you've got me cleaning. We made it. We made it to the end of the day, we made it to the end of the vlog, and we made it to revel time. And no, these are not toxic free. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest hypocrite award goes to... Never said I'm perfect. Never said I'm perfect. But you've never said you are. You are perfect. No. What have you said? I probably say you do about a 95.5. Do you? Yeah, probably. Well, I mean, I'm that good. Okay, 92.8. Specific. I'm so excited about getting into our bed with fresh bed sheets. It's just no better feeling. When oh, you're freshly God. showered, fresh PJs, fresh bed sheets, there's no better. One final thing before I sign off. Thank you so much to our sponsors for our vlog. We sponsor every single one, because they're amazing. The wonderful team at Cover My Bubble. I did a reel for them this week, actually. Well, Goldie did. Goldie did a voiceover reel for them this week. So if you haven't seen that, go and check out the recent Goldie feels on, um, on my Insta page. So as you know, even though they sponsor us, we absolutely love Cover My Bubble. They are our life insurance go-tos. We've had our policies like over a year now, I think. Quite a while. Quite a while. Um, and like I said in this week's reel as well on Instagram, um, I think everyone knows about life insurance and critical illness now, but I didn't know about children's critical illness cover as well. And even if it's not like a critical illness, even if it's things like broken bones and stuff, you're covered for. If your child had a broken bone and then you've got to have time off work, Obviously, depending on what policy, depends how much, etc. But yeah, you, you you have cover there as well. So it's like it's like the little things. Anyway, go and have a chat with them at Cover My Bubble. Just have a quick five minute no obligation chat over the phone. Then you'll feel really at ease that your policy is like exactly what you need rather than just random ticking some boxes. Thanks, Cover My Bubble. We love you. And we love you. If you got to the end of this vlog, I'm so curious to know how long this vlog's going to be because I feel like I've got about four hours worth of footage. So God bless me for editing this. Um, if you got to the end of it, congratulations. I feel like there was a lot of information in there as well. A lot. I'm information overload. Yeah, I'm going to try and cover some in like the, the info box on YouTube when I upload it. But if you have any questions, if I missed anything, because I absolutely know I have, um or if I didn't explain something right, or whatever. Just ping me a question in the comments. I hope you liked that. I really enjoyed today. I've never done like a day in the life of. I mean, it was hardcore, but I think I overdid it. But I'm here for it. Here for it. Um, there might be more days in the life. Yeah, I might more. And I might include you more. <laughs> that would maybe, be nice. Maybe I am the star of the show. You are the star. But also... We'll have days where we do more stuff together and then we'll be together more, but yeah. But today was productive and I feel great. I hope that I've made you feel productive too and I hope that's given you a little kick up the butt if you if there's bits around your house that you needed doing. Did you notice how clean our kettle was, by the way? I haven't looked, sorry. It's absolutely shame then. We will... Love you and leave you. We will love you and leave you, yes. And I'm going to eat these. I will share them. And watch we our little program. Them.
because they're not toxic for them. Well, you won't have them. Mm. <laughs> More for me then, mate. So, See ya. Love bye. you. Bye.